Good morning, everyone. So, um, I just woke up. If you can't tell, I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth. I know, gross. Um, but today is my last rest day. So, um, I had five days on, two days off this week. So, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, I got off. Um, just a quick little update since my last video. Today is day seven, so pretty much last day or because every seven to ten days, Nikki will change my program. So either today or within the next few days will be the last day of this week. Um, a quick little update. Honestly, um, I feel great. Uh, couple things. I just want to remind you guys, if you decide to cut or really anything bulk, get into the fitness lifestyle, you have to really, really be patient. One. Two, you have to go in with a healthy mindset because I've been there before where um, I don't have the healthiest mindset and all I'm thinking about is the number on the scale and I've had disordered eating patterns and it's um I, I, I've grown since then and I can tell because the way I've been thinking for the past week in this cut you have to really and I know it's cliche but you have to love the process like um you have to focus on the more important things rather than um the outcome you're really looking for if that makes sense so for example, let me explain to you guys. For the past week, uh, my number has like uh, on the scale. From the number it started, it, tr it it's been weird. It's been fluctuating um, within the same pound range. So I mean, like by decimal points. So it went a little bit down, and then it went up, and then down, and then up. Not by drastic numbers, just by decimal points. So basically, I've weighed the. I haven't lost any weight this week. So the reason why I'm not stressing is because one, like I said in my last video, I have not weight lifted in about a year. And even back then when I would weight lift, it, it was nothing compared to what Nikki is having me do. Oh, wow. Sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, nothing compared to what Nikki's getting me to do. Um, also, with that, what happens when you're new to any sort of workout program, especially resistance training, as opposed to cardio, um, you get so sore. Like, you guys have no idea. A couple nights ago, I was walking on my tippy toes because my calves hurt so much. Um, and that's basically delayed onset muscle soreness. So, what happens is your muscles are trying to repair themselves after a difficult workout and so they hold on to water like, as long as you're staying on your macros and your program and you're doing everything right. Don't worry about it, you know, that's the trainer's job to adjust accordingly. Second of all, like I said, I was on a higher set of macros this week because it's best to start high to see how far your body can go and then go low from there because we can't start at 1200 calories and then be like oh just losing weight too fast we should add more in no because your metabolism will have adjusted to that 1200 calories seven minutes of blagging holy i'm gonna have to cut that down but um currently i am in toronto um today i will be driving back to ottawa so i'm gonna be meal prepping a couple of foods just for drive today that I we will be going on um, later in a couple of hours um, I could just eat out but uh, I prefer not to just because from the trip from Toronto to Ottawa there isn't a lot of uh, places with nutrition facts and I'm fine with cooking by myself since we have some food left over from my visit um, so I'm going to be making some food and I'll film you guys what I do for just a quick meal prep when you're gone for a day. Uh, 
you don't always have to meal prep. I don't, I don't even meal prep a lot of the time, but sometimes it's good. Um, I'm going to be cooking with what we have left in the house, so we don't have any chicken or anything. So kind of an unusual meal prep, but I just want to show you guys the beauty of flexible dieting, how with what literally whatever you have in the house, pretty much, you can hit your macros. So let's get into it. I'm going to fix this face up. Sorry about that. All right, so first meal of the day, and I just realized it's the same meal as uh, my first vlog, but I promise you guys, hello, that I haven't had that breakfast literally since I filmed that last video. Say hi. So I'm sorry, it kind of just fell on the same day. In between, I've had like French toast. Um, what else did I have? I had turkey bacon. Um, Nothing too exciting, but I, I did vary my breakfast and meals in general, but not as much as I typically do because I did go away this week. I am having 215 grams of Liberté Greek yogurt, um, except I had the lactose-free version because they didn't have the normal in the grocery store. And this brand still had the best macros compared to the other Greek yogurts there. Then um, 54 grams of the Harvest Crunch original granola. And then 100 grams of strawberries, 100 grams of blackberries, and 60 grams of blueberries. So I'm going to dig into this. See you guys later. I'm trying to get her to come in by luring her with food. Am I evil? A little bit. I'm gonna get a bunch of hate comments right now for torturing my dog, but I want her to come sit with me. Alright guys, so I'm done meal prepping for the trip. Um, we're kind of in a rush right now, so as I'm eating everything, I will show you guys what I'm having first. So we're gonna head on the road and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so um, we're in the car now. I stopped at Starbucks. I got one tall triple non-fat latte with a packet of Truvia. Typically, especially in this weather, I'd get an ice uh, triple tall non-fat latte. But uh, I did wake up this morning with a sore throat, so I kind of want something warm, even though it's hot outside. Also, let me know what you guys get at Starbucks. I love knowing what other people get for their morning coffee. I used to just get a normal uh, dark coffee and then Nikki, she gets this order so I had tried it and I actually really do like it. I'm about to have lunch. Um, usually if I am meal prepping and I'm gonna be somewhere where I know that I can't heat up the food, I would go with something like chicken because in my opinion chicken tastes fine cold. But what I'm having is a burger because yesterday we had a barbecue and we were grilling some burgers. So I just really took whatever we had in the house. Hopefully it's not too soggy. I'll tell you guys what I put inside of it. Yeah, it looks fine to me. So here's the burger. Um, just used a normal white bread wonder bun. Um, I took, I think it was 110 grams of lean ground beef, um, pickles, I'll have the macros by the way, uh, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, some reduced fat cheese, uh, no ketchup because we had ketchup but it was expired in 2012 and someone didn't want to throw it out but I'm not going to eat it, um, and then some hot banana peppers. Oh, and like a little bit of peanut butter because I saw some other people were doing that on their burgers and I was interested to know if that tastes good and I was short on fat for the day. So I thought why not try it now, put it in the burger. Check in with you guys when I have my next meal. So we're at this place called the Big Apple for a pit stop. If you're Canadian, tell me if you've ever heard of it. Uh, I don't know, I, apparently it's like a factory, but it has like a restaurant. There's a lot of like games here, like people are playing golf, mini putt or whatever. 
and there's like a little petting zoo with rabbits and stuff. We might, I don't know, get some food here. Me probably know because I just ate that burger. Um, and then I saw some people getting stuff like little pastries and stuff so I'll see what they have. So update, I didn't get anything. My dad, if you can see all that food, got enough for the both of us. <laughs> the problem is <laughs> sauce. <laughs> the sauce was not expired. I, I hope you leave me some uh, suggestion for next time that I want to eat. So I'm about to have my next snack. It's um, 115 grams of green grapes. And I just took the white part of two hard boiled eggs that I boiled this morning. And yeah, that's it. Hey guys, so uh, I just got home and I have to be honest, I'm a little bit stressed out because some of the heat protectant I use on my hair, it had like a hole in it or something. So it leaked on, the la on my laptop. And so when I've been trying to turn it on, it has those like vertical stripes on the screen. And so um, I'm just kind of leaving it to dry right now. It's turned off and I blow dried it a bit, but I don't know, it's not looking too good. I'm gonna wait it out for like an hour and see what happens. Right now I'm having 50 grams of these sour cherry slices. They're basically like knockoffs of the sour cherry blasters from Maynard's. So I'm gonna have these, um, check them with you guys later. Guys, so I'm about to have dinner. Um, I'm not anticipating this will be great. I had made it with what we had in the kitchen just in case um, I didn't make it home in time for dinner. I didn't really have to because we did make it, but I didn't even know what we'd have back in Ottawa, so I did make something. Anyways, um, it's never my favorite meal, uh, but it's good if you're in a rush and you have to be somewhere. Yeah, it, it totally got screwed up in the, um, in the car, so. It, it doesn't look appetizing at all, I won't show you guys, but it honestly doesn't taste bad and it's high in protein and quick, so if you're looking for something, uh, basically what you do is you put in a can of tuna with, um, I think it's 45 grams of cottage cheese, whatever half a cup is, it. it's the serving size. Uh, I use 1%, um, but this time we didn't have that, so I used Greek yogurt, 0% Liberté. Uh, usually I put in cucumber. We were out of cucumber. Usually I use that. So instead I'm using romaine lettuce. That was literally the only vegetable in the house. So I'm going to down this. Uh, not that great, but got to hit the macros. Got to do what I got to do. See you guys in the next clip. Right, guys, so I'm about to have my last meal of the day. It's going to be a slightly flattened out quest bar cookie dough quest bar um it's coming out of the variety pack so I found that like the more common flavors like uh chocolate the cookie dough one or whatever uh were slightly flatter than the package you get with like the standard just chocolate chip cookie dough box but you know what still good probably still tastes good hopefully um so I'm gonna eat that and yeah let me know what your favorite Look how flat that is. And it was only in there for 10 seconds. So, anyways, let me know what your favorite flavor of Quest Bar is. Mine is actually, believe it or not, is raspberry cheesecake. So I'm going to eat this uh, Quest Bar. That's it for the day. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys, my 10 subscribers, hello to you. Super excited about that. What you guys want to see next, um, if it's another one night eating a day, that'll be fine. My macros are going to change super soon in a couple of days, so we'll see what those are. If you want to see some kind of workout or a fitness tag or something like that, I'll do that too. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.